Fraud and millions of taxpayer dollars going to waste. All new at 10, startling allegations against a Phoenix charter school now on the brink of closing. ABC 15's John Genovese is live outside Starshine Academy near 36th Street in McDowell. And uh, John, what's next for these students? Well, Steve, classes will go on through at least June, but a state board is planning to revoke the school's charter, saying money problems and mismanagement have gone on for years. And this is probably one of the most egregious, like outrageous um, uh, things I've ever read about a charter school. In a special session this week, the vote's putting Starshine Academy on a path to shutting down. The taxpayer-funded charter school filed for bankruptcy two years ago. The Department of Justice now investigating potential fraud, as recent records show the school $3 million in the red. It's, it's the poster child of um, basically what's wrong with charter schools in Arizona. Jim Hall is behind Arizonans for Charter School Accountability. There's 17 schools in the state that, that spend more money on administration and more money on their buildings than they do in the classroom. There's, that's serious. And Starshine was one of them. Over the years, enrollment dropped to now now just 90 students. The school falling short on payments for a $12 million expansion and investigators say founder Tricia McCarty was using public money as her own. I've done absolutely everything that I can do in every single case to do everything right. Over the phone, McCarty says rental cars, hotels and Walmart purchases by the school in Santa Fe were legit because they'd opened a school there. Still, the charter board says academics were suffering. Hall telling me this should come as no surprise. I can just look at the data and see that you know they're, they should have been closed a long time ago. Now, Starshine had another school in Tucson that shut down as these money problems were growing. McCarty said those academic scores were low because many of the students here are refugees, and she hopes another school will move in and take over here. For now, reporting live, John Genovese, ABC 15, Arizona. Some new developments.